Before this studio, I was in a studio space in Stoke Newington, um, and it's kind of like a, a squat, basically. It had no heating or hot water. Um, I don't think the landlord paid any uh, any of his bills or or didn't pay sort of uh, business rates. Um, we're constantly getting letters through from the council, uh, so that was. It was a bit of a dodgy space and I think we were constantly worried that the bailiffs were going to come round and take all our stuff. <laughs> so it's nice now being in a space that does have heating, you know, you're not having to wear gloves to work and also just being surrounded by lots of exciting people. There's a few of us, there's sort of, I think three or four, four of us that have worked together in space since about four years ago and then it's kind of people have come and gone and we kind of picked some others up in the way and like friends have uh, friends have come in, so it's, yeah, it kind of has grown organically. It kind of uh, we started in De Beauvoir in a space, and we called it, called that open, so it was like a collective group, and then um, moved just down the road. Um, where Toby was with us, and four or five from Open, and then picked up a few more. So it's kind of yeah, people go, and then you kind of um, gather some more along the way, but. Uh, a couple of years ago I was in Open Studios in De Beauvoir which was an old, an old, uh, big old photography studio where they used to shoot the page three models. That's where they did it in like the 70s and 80s. All wooden floors, all really like beautiful uh, building. But there's 26 people in there. Um, and when you're sort of someone who likes to have a good chat with some people and you can while away the hours, it's becomes a bit dangerous to your productivity. Um, so we left that space because of, of how much it was taking uh, people to project manage and, and to run the whole place. Uh, and it was a great space because it was so sociable um, and you met new people every day. Um, and then we, we downsized to a, a studio with nine people in it, um, which is just around the corner from here. and. Uh, that was an old uh, fashion designer's room, um, which we couldn't really, when we walked in, we couldn't really see how the space was going to work, but we, the space seemed really nice. So we went about sort of curating that space and uh, tearing all the sort of wardrobes down and the, the rails and painting and decorating it all over a sort of couple of weeks and turning it into like an artist's space. Um, and that was great. And the space was brilliant until the roof started leaking and it was freezing cold and the band below us became increasingly noisy. I think Open was great for me initially because I just started freelancing. So I think I've been freelancing for like six months. So I went to an environment where there was 12 other established illustrators. So that was great because I got to see how they work professionally and how they were with clients and just ask them advice, etc. Um, but I think in, after a while, the, the actual size of the space meant that it was a little bit hard to concentrate after a while because open was one half of the double size room, so probably there's about 25 people in the room. And that, for me, I found that the focus was starting to go, just even getting up and answering the door. So I was near the door. So Yeah, I think being a shared studio, just it means that you have other people around you who, like, in this group especially, everyone's quite focused, and it, it makes you take your, like, craft more seriously, I think, because I think you look around, you see other people achieving stuff and working on really exciting projects, and it's quite motivating to, like, you know, to make sure you push yourself and you don't stagnate, and, and also we share ideas and um, just encourage each other as well, so I think that's definitely beneficial. Um, so then there was the move... Uh, to this space. I went home for a couple of months in between that. Um, just to sort of focus back on my work again, I felt like I'd maybe lost track of um, what my direction was. So I went home for three months to really sort of nail that down again. And uh, then moved in here. And this is a space with f four and then coming up five people. Um, and this, this space now is a real nice, it's a real calm space because there's five people in, everyone is really busy, but everyone's really sociable. And so there's a nice atmosphere every day, there's always people in, but there's not too many people in. Um, 
and everyone's just friends really and the people I used to share a studio with are next door down the corridor so there's that there's nine people in there that you can go and chat to whenever you want so you've sort of got the best of both worlds with this space well I've recently rebuilt my space just to give give me some more room because quite often have assistants or interns in helping out and um, it's nice to have a bit more elbow room because before now if anyone came in to help I was quite crammed in um, and with the type of work I do lots of making and creating I, I need the space to be able to spread out without annoying my studio mates because I'm quite conscious I don't want to be spreading into their spaces um, and yeah it's nice um, it's nice to just been there to have, have all my stuff in one area and, and feel comfortable working and doing the st sort of work that I do. You know, design studio, you're, sometimes you're all working towards the same thing, so different people will be you know, doing a different pitch route on the same job, or you can be just working with, just as a pair on something, but here it's mostly quite individual because everyone's got their own, you know, small company and own individual style so it's it's more sort of uh, yeah everyone's tuned into their own thing and then when we sort of have a bit of lunch or want another opinion then we can sort of interact and you know or just kind of yeah discuss jobs and pros and cons of things and yeah. So yeah in a space I think it's important to put time into finding the right people because you're going to spend a lot of time with them um, you know we're here Monday to Friday every every week, and um, you want people both who are hard working, but also who you get on with, and you know you'll be happy to hang out with, go for lunches with, etc. Because um, it is, you know, I think it's a 50-50 split between a hard working uh, creative space, but also you know you're surrounded by a group of friends basically, and and people you trust, and people who you are happy to bounce ideas off, and and whose opinion you respect. Um, so we put quite a bit of time into trying to find these uh, new people for our space. And um, yeah, fortunately it's worked out really well. I'm very excited about uh, the future of the space.